Michael Stutz with the Fight Nerd. I'm here post fight Bellator 83 with the victorious Jessica Evil Eye. And you can't stop smiling, smiling all through the post fight presser. How great do you feel getting this victory over women's champ, Zola Gurgel? I mean, it's it's great. It's great for so many different reasons. You know, it's great that I obviously got the win. I got it emotionally, I got it physically. So, I mean, I'm just on an emotional high right now. I mean, and I'm definitely full from eating food. So, I'm just, I'm a happy girl. And, and before I talk about the fight, I have to say, I saw, I think it was your third pro fight against Ashley New back at Ring of Combat 34. And I walked away from that fight going, who is is this girl she's going to be something here we are less than two years later you beat the current belt or uh, champ i know you know non-title fight but something you obviously have to be proud of so talk about the game plan walk us through that quick first round you went right at it knocked her down and and walk us through that that standing side triangle finish you know as an as, as you train mma you have to be ready for anything and you have to to go out there and, and you're only given what the other person will give you so if they give you something you have to be able to execute on that so Really, you know, I'm a stand-up fighter. I enjoy standing up. I also enjoy going to the ground. I just think people underestimate what I can do, and they don't really see much. So I think this kind of helps out, obviously, a little bit. But, you know, she was able to give me an opportunity to take advantage of her. So I did, and I was able to, you know, get the submission. It was really nice, though, because I haven't, I haven't got a submission in a long time. So. And I was looking at it thinking that you would probably have to get the trip to take her down to the ground to finish it. Well, you were able to finish it standing, which is very rare. So how, how about that sequence? Yeah, I mean, I, I was bigger than her. So, you know, I knew that keeping us standing up, that I could actually use the fence to, to use that as pressure. That taking her down to the ground could give her maybe an opportunity of getting out or maybe squirming out. So I used my shoulder and my head and the way that the choke was, and I used the fence to, to almost like help give me leverage. So going to the ground was never an option. My corner was, you know, coaching me up. So. And going forward, Bellator, I, I asked Bjorn at the press, if there'd be a 125 uh, tournament, obviously your eyes lit up. It's something you really want. So talk about getting another chance to, to keep proving your your worth here. Look, I want to I want to be someone to Bellator. I want to be something to women's MMA. So I definitely think I'm going to be able to help give them a reason to promote, or at least give them a reason to want to put maybe something together that will help other females get exposure. You know, get other females good fights, and you know, also myself. You know, I want to showcase. I mean, I train to get only these few, you know, few fights a year to show everybody what I do and how hard I work. And how do you feel about, obviously, you have to feel good about women's MMA coming up. Uh, Invicta, obviously, Ronda Rousey uh, being a, a sex symbol and an awesome, you know, women's fighter. Uh, talk about MMA making the jump, really, in the last just almost year's time. Yeah, women's MMA is really is really grown, and it's awesome that, like, you know, girls like Zoila, me, you know, Rosie Sexton, you know, people, just Aguilar, that are involved in the up the upcoming years. So, you know, maybe another 10 years, life will be so much different for women's MMA. They'll be able to come in, make the impression right off the bat. They won't have to wait and work as hard as maybe me or Zola and Abbas have do before we got the recognition that we do now. And lastly, you touch on, uh, obviously, your, your straight, uh, strong style fight team. Talk yes. about your training partners, your team, your sponsors, everyone that backed you for this fight. Man, I, I have great sponsors. Everybody, if I, I list them all, it, it's insane. But they, I have great sponsors. They have a great support team. It's very Cleveland-based support team. You know, we really stick by each other and just really help build off one another. My teammates, you know, are amazing. You know, a lot of people came up to support me, so it was really awesome to have all of them. But I've got great teammates that are my weight that will help me. I have four amazing coaches that were here tonight. You know, Hesh, Marcus, Pablo, and Joe Delguide that are every, you know, my wrestling coach, my jiu-jitsu coach, my striking coach, my Muay Thai coach. And they just have always been there for me, and I'm, I'm really blessed. Well, congratulations on a fantastic performance, Jessica. Very much look forward to seeing you fight again in the future. Thanks for a few minutes. Thank you. Victorious Jessica Evil Eye, Bellator 83.